Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on and thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look what I've got. So, I got these. They're not new. They've been out ages, but I've never had them. Four beef double cheeseburgers with melting cheese centres. 100% British beef at 454 grams. So that is the box there. And they were two pounds and 50 pence. And this was a recommendation by a lovely foodie called John Stokes. So thank you very much, John. He said, can you try these? So I thought, well, yeah, I will try them. I tried the mac and cheese and I didn't like them. Didn't like them. I thought that the gherkin in it was just too strong. It was just overpowering. It was just a little bit too strong. So I hope that these are going to be better. I don't think they've got gherkin in them, have they? So let's get them open and see what we've got. So I hope wherever you are in the country today, I hope you're okay, because I know there's a storm coming again, isn't there? I really do hope you're all, all right. So here they are, look. This is them. Let me get a bit of better light for you on this miserable, miserable day. I don't think I don't think it's going to get light today. There they are, look. Now they've been in my fridge overnight because I've got no room in my freezer, so they're defrosted now. <laughs> they're not frozen anymore. So let's start with the nutritional information. Look, if you want to pause that and have a look, per burger oven baked, two hundred twenty-one calories. There we go. That is that. And there are the ingredients there, look, if you want to pause that, by all means, pause it and have a look. You've got a few allergies in there, haven't you? Milk, 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 wheat. See in bold. And, and there's a little bit of, it's got beef 69% there, look. Cheese slice in the middle. Um, four beef double cheeseburgers, seasoned double beef burgers with onion and processed cheese filling. So that is that. This is them. So you can do them in the oven for 22, 24 minutes um, at 180, gas 6. Place on the baking tray with raised edges near the middle of the oven. 22, 24 minutes. Stand for two minutes after serving. Or you can pan fry them. There we go. Look, you can pan fry them. But I'm going to do them in the air fryer because I reckon they'll be done in 12 minutes at 180. So that is what I'm going to do, because they'll go everywhere. They'll stink. If I do them in the in the in the pan, if I do them in the pan, they're going to stink, aren't they? Let's be honest. <laughs> so here it is. I'm going to do them in this. So I've switched it on. I'm going to bake. Oh, it's telling me to clove. Right. I'm going to get them in first, then I'll go through it a whole. So let's get these open. So that, that is them. Look. Now while well, they're defrosted, we can have a look inside them, look, can't we? Well, very gently, because they'll fall apart. There we go, there's your cheese slice, look. That one's not put together very well, is it? Well, I'm, I'm going to have it anyway. So they've got onion in these burgers. So what I'll do now, I'll get you over to the air fryer. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to wash all these areas down, haven't I? Because I've been handling raw meat. It's raw now. So there it is in there. I've put it in there, look. Right. So let's bake roast it. At 180, it says. 12 minutes. There we go. That is going. It's off. So I've got a gift sent to me as well, look at this, it was sent to me by Miles, he sent it through the post to my PO box number, and basically this is a design to lift the rack up off the bottom. So you just basically put it in like that, and just lift the rack up when the food's done. Because um, he was watching a video of me and I was trying to get sausages out, and, I, and, I, and it was just, it was hard work. The bottom rack has got no handles. So. It was kind enough to send me that, so thank you very much, Miles. I really do appreciate that, but we'll give it a test in a minute. So if this is your sort of thing, you like this kind of review, please give the video a thumbs up, and if you've not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and you won't miss any of my videos. 
And please leave a comment as well. Let me know if you've had these before and see what you think of them. I hope they're going to be better than them mac and cheese ones. I weren't too keen on them. Um, yeah, so what I'll do, I'll bring you back when this is done. In fact, hang on a minute. We need to do the bun, don't we? I'll get the buns out. <laughs> So I'm just toasting my, my brioche bun, I've got a, a bun here, I'm just going to give it a light toasting so the bottom's all caramelised. Might stick a bit of butter in there as well, um, so it'll just catch. And I'm going to turn, six minutes, I'm going to, do I, do I need to turn it over? Do I need to turn, I don't think I do, do I? Because the air circulates in this. I know in the oven you have to turn them over, don't you? Um, I don't think you're doing it yet. Let me know. Let me know what you do with the air fryer. Do you turn them over or not? I think I will this time. I'll, I'll turn it over. So I'm just going to stick another butter in there, look. Get that on there. Let that all crisp up. Make that lovely and mmm, lovely. So, it's had 12 minutes, there it is. I'm going to get my little tongs out, try and do this. So, we can see we get that in that end, and that in that end. We grab them and we lift. Look at that. <laughs> oh, let's put that down there. So, I got another gift as well was sent to me, so a meat thermometer, so let's check check us meat. See if they're cooked. So I've got a little gauge there, look. So yeah, so it's uh hang on a minute, it's not cooked. Let's get that in there. Yeah it is. <laughs> there we go, look. 60 degrees for beef rare, and that's 76. So that is done, that is done. We've got all the cheese coming out. Yeah, that's done. It looks done as well, doesn't it? Let's be honest, you can't really give that any more. <laughs> It'll be cremated. So let's try not to touch that, because that'll be red hot. So I've made me, there's me brioche uh, toasted bun. So let's get this assembled now. So what I'm going to do, on the bottom, I'm going to put some, when it comes out, French mustard. I do like French mustard. And some ketchup, look. Stick that on the bottom. There we go, look at that. Now I could butter that now, couldn't I, but I'm not going to butter it. So let's get this, let's get this off there. Without burning my hands. I didn't flip it. I never flipped it. There it is, look. So I'll put the lid on it. And that, that is that look. There we go, look at that. <laughs> so there it is, let me get a bit of better light for you. This is that, have a look at that. I mean, you could put um, lettuce and onion and tomato. Uh, you put what you want in there, can't you? But I'm just having this as a cheeseburger. That is what I'm, I'm reviewing. It's a double cheeseburger. Well, I'm absolutely talking a load of gibberish because I've just put a load of ketchup in there, haven't I, as well? I've just put a load of ketchup in there and I've put a load of French mustard in there. So I'm just talking, just forget what I just said before. But they do come to come compulsory with a cheeseburger. So let's try it, see what it's like. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. That is melt in the middle, isn't it? It does exactly what it says, so. Oh, it's lovely. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> I love it. The, 
the addition of the, the butter on the toasted brioche gives it a bit of crunch as well, another extra texture, another a layer of joy. <laughs> the cheese is quite cheesy. It's American cheese, isn't it? So it's that, it's very strong uh, flavor. Um, what you're getting through. Um, to be fair, <clears throat> It's not bad, but it's not my cup of tea. It's just too strong. I noticed in the mac and cheese as well, the gherkins and the cheese were very overpowering. Could really taste the burger. Mm. I just got a bit of the side burger then, with less cheese in it. And that was spot on. I can actually taste the burger. The faint onion as well. I do love onion onion burgers. Reminds me of when I was a kid. We used to, my mum used to get the cheap, really cheap burgers with onion in. God, they were, I loved them, me. I just I lived off them. I loved them. So you're getting the onion through. Um, like I say, if you just lay back on the cheese, just put, say, half in rather than what they do put in or make it thinner. It will just all balance it up at the moment. The cheese is very overpowering. However, if you like cheese and like American cheese, this is going to be for you. And it, this is for, it is for me. I just had a bite there without the cheese in. Mm. Mm. Wow. The burger is nice. That is really nice, yeah. What a, what a difference just putting a bit of butter on there in the pan with the brioche bun. It's, it gives it a crisp, crunchy texture, it's lovely. That is. Would I buy them again? I probably would buy them again, yes, I would buy them again. Um, a marks out of 10, they're, a, oh, they're probably an 8. 8 out of 10 and I would buy them again. I mean, you can put your own cheese on them, can't you? If you want to just be lazy, they're ideal, aren't they? Because there's cheese in them, you don't have to bother. If you want cheeseburgers, there's cheese in them and you like cheese, then these are going to be for you. So thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment, see what you think of these. So take care, all the best. And thanks for the gifts. Thanks for Miles for the rack and all the gifts I get and the recommendation as well. John, thank you very much, Stokes, for this. So take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.